When you're programming in Python, oftentimes you may need to create a function, but you don't know how exactly how to implement it yet. So you'll want a placeholder for the function and then implement it later when the time comes. And this type of a function is called a function stub. A function stub is an incomplete function and a placeholder where you can implement it later. And the pass keyword is used as a placeholder for a required statement. And if a function stub is called, you may want to stop executing your program by raising a not implement error. So let's create a function stub in Python and see how we could use it in our program. So let's say you wanted to calculate the area of a rectangle. We'll create a function called calc area. We pass in the width and height. And we'll return width times the height to get the area. Okay, so let's get some user input. What is the width? And we'll set A to input. And we'll ask for the height next. We'll set B to that input. Then we can pass and print out the value of calc area, the return value of A and B. So A is going to be the width, B is going to be the height. It's going to return back the width times the height to get the area. And let's print this out. See the width is 5, height is 4. Okay, so we get an error because all data that's being read into your program is being read as a string. So it's trying to multiply two strings together and that's not going to work. So what we need to do is convert these strings a and b to numerical values. And you could just simply do that with the int function. You could just either surround add it here, int of this input. And just to show you an alternative way to do it, you could just surround the, per the argument into b. If we run the program, now it's going to work. So 5 for the width, 4 for the height, and the area is 20. All right, just printing out a little bit of text before it. Okay, so I didn't show a function stub here, but let's say that you didn't know how to calculate the area of the rectangle, okay? But you knew that you had to have this function there and eventually you were going to fill in the details later. So all you need to do is just create the function header and in the body, rather than having the actual code that returns width times height, if you didn't know what to put there, you could just say pass. Then if you run the program, enter your width, enter the height, it's going to just return none instead. So this allows you to continue writing your Python program and then eventually come back to this calc area function and complete it and return the width times height to get the real value, let's say 6, 9, the area is 54. So that's what a function stub lets you do. It lets you create a little placeholder for a function and allows you to just implement it later whenever you are ready to do so.